Love and light, love and light, family. What's good? It's your boy King J Rasan. We back with another video. I know the channel moving slowly, but you know we trying to do what we got to do. I don't know the post. We got a couple cop cars down the street. I don't know what they got going on. But um, I want to talk about the conscious community. What's been going on since last year and how it de how it done developed throughout all these months like the negativity is not stopping at all the negativity is not fucking stopping at all like you would think at some point you know what I'm saying niggas that have a sit down you know what I'm saying talk that shit out as men whatever the fuck y'all going through whatever the case may be whatever put it all on the fucking table nigga and try to make this shit right how the fuck is we unifying and trying to unify and then you look at the people that's supposed to have the knowledge for you that can help you grow, to take you out of your brainwash stage or whatever the case may be. You don't know what stage a person just may be in in their life on how they're dealing with everything. So they might be coming at them for a certain type of advice to move in certain situations and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? We got them out here, but you guys, man, y'all motherfuckers out here, boy. I tell you, y'all niggas is back and forth. Soon as you think it die down, it's right back up. With some more bullshit. We must call this the unconscious community for real. And I like what Pharaoh said about uh changing the fucking name to the righteous community. You know what I'm saying? Being righteous, they ain't it, it's you know, people putting in their own perspective and shit like that on how they feel about every darn old thing and all that crazy ass shit. But you know, everybody got their own opinion to how they feel about shit, but you know, I got my own opinion about it too, you know what I'm saying, that's like, I, I feel like we should just do it, you know, the righteous, the righteous community, fuck all that bullshit all these other motherfuckers talking about, because as you can see, the conscious community is fucked up, how long is it going to take to get back on track, we supposed to be so motherfucking strong and trying to unify and this, that, and the third, that shit should have been done and handled with, instantly, go figure, right? That shit ain't happening, so evidently motherfuckers ain't in their right ain't in their right mind. Now everybody got the right to defend themselves on everything, but you know what I'm saying? It's just so much fucking slander going on. Y'all motherfuckers ain't even building. All this money out here and y'all ain't even building. Y'all getting it in a good ass way, but y'all ain't building. Y'all doing the most dumbest shit. The most stupidest shit that we talk about not doing. That's going to better our fucking self. What we talk about not doing. Motherfuckers is out here doing it. All these punk ass scams and all this shit going on, man. Get the fuck out of here. How's you scamming the people that's trying to get out the rut that they is? Get the fuck on, bro. Like, that's not what the fuck the community need. And I ain't talking about the community as my neighborhood, nigga. I'm talking about worldwide fucking globe. That ain't what the fuck we need. So if you out here doing some old damaging ass shit, you want to worship money and all this, got in third, you need to get your ass on. Step your ass aside. Quit fucking with the community that's trying to develop their fucking self. We trying to find a fucking way out and you taking and scamming and doing what the fuck you want to do to live a fucking famous lifestyle. Niggas ain't out here trying to live no famous lifestyle. Nigga, we trying to live comfortable without all the bullshit. How real is that? You trying to be famous and we trying to live comfortable. To where we could teach our children correctly. And as they come up, they could build they self up and set they, they, they um, jobs or businesses or whatever it is that they are trying to do. They could set that in place and get ready for their grown life. I just don't understand. Like, it's just too motherfucking much going on with you cats, and y'all supposed to be for the people. Y'all motherfuckers ain't for no people. Y'all niggas for the money and for your fucking self. Self is just like the rest of the elders that I look around with. Now, I ain't been with no <clears throat> scourly elders or nothing like that. I ain't never had no role model or nothing like that in my life. I learned my shit straight out the motherfucking mud. You know what I'm saying? I got out here and learned it on my motherfucking own. No pops, no uncles, no big cousins, no big brothers, no nothing. I learned it on my motherfucking own. And sometimes I just come to this YouTube to find out certain shit. 
read up on stuff, pull it down on the internet, shit like that. So I know what I know just off, just off that. Excuse me. I know what I know just off that. You know what I'm saying? But I ain't, I ain't been traveling to no Egypt and all this, so I ain't even gonna bring you all that kind of talk. You know what I'm saying? Like, I could agree to some stuff that I feel that is exactly right, but that's just like religion, period. Like I tell people, man. Religion ain't for your ass to be fucking sitting up here worshiping no goddamn body. You're supposed to be snatching the goddamn message up out of there and leaving the lies behind. It's a standard that you got to live by. That's all it is. A standard to live by. Each fucking religion is a standard to live by. One may be better than the other. One may be worse off. But it's a damn standard. Either way it go. That's all it is. A fucking standard to live by. Not worship some goddamn ghost some goddamn way. We all got the common goddamn sense that it takes man and a woman to make a damn child. Where the fuck do you get man, child, holy ghost? It's just common fucking sense. And if you follow that dumb shit, that's just on your dumb ass. But just go by the fucking standard of life because the standard of life can't put you in a positive place. Just don't fall for all the extra bullshit. Learn how to read in between the motherfucking lines. Quit being stupid and quit, you know what I'm saying? Quit all that dumb shit. I'm not going to be the type of person to sit up here and tell you leave that shit alone because that might be just what you need to go on through your life and to carry on to the next phase. One day you may wake up, may one day you may just, you just may stay brainwashed, shit. You might not get no motherfucking word. You know, but this goddamn conscious community, man, if y'all doing too much motherfucking dirt to the damn people, it is, it's fucking crazy. I'm hearing a lot of shit. This is why I like the understand shit before I just jump into it which we all should do because that's common goddamn sense just because a motherfucker I don't give a fuck if he black or white just because a motherfucker say he got something for sale and put that shit on the internet don't mean your ass gotta pay for it and get it you don't know what's going on it's all kind of bullshit going on on the internet just like in real motherfucking life and that's real 100 shit so I'm saying you you just gotta find that shit out Make sure it's real. Make sure it's popping. Make sure you go get what you go get. Make sure your shit is legit. Then you won't have no motherfucking problems afterwards. As far as that polite shit go with all that shit, man, I've been watching polite. When he was standing on the street debating with all the motherfucking guys and shit, man, the shit never was right. The nigga got some good ass knowledge. He know how to uh, use some big ass words and shit like that. But that shit, man, please. I could see right past through all that and tell you was coming after after the people on some other shit. And look, exactly what you did is exactly what I thought. That's why I ain't never bought shit for him, never tried to or nothing. Nigga, if you ain't saying shit on YouTube or something like that, brother, I can't even fuck with you like that. Because you just seem like that type of person. So I'm going to follow my vibe. I'm going to follow my gut and let it be. And then here comes shit. All these goddamn vids coming out about your ass with all these scams and all that kind of shit. I'm still not going to say the shit real as fuck, but shit, that just gives me a warning sign to definitely not fuck with you. I could see if it was one, two people or something like that, but shit, it's way more than that. All the motherfucking beefing that y'all got going on, the shit needs to fucking stop, bro. The community ain't getting no motherfucking way like that. Bringing the negative right back in, it's supposed to be the community where we get uplifted, enlightened. Y'all supposed to be some grown-ass men. Y'all supposed to be guys. Y'all supposed to be kings. Y'all need to start thinking like that shit. Real fucking talk. Think like that shit. Y'all got fucking problems with each other. Sit y'all ass down and take care of it. Let motherfuckers move on with their goddamn life. Like, God damn. Is it really that hard? That's what I want to know. Is it really that motherfucking hard? We got a long way to go, my people. And we go get there. We most definitely go get there because we still waking up. We still getting into this consciousness. We still getting enlightened. We still moving how we want to move. And we realizing that a lot of this shit is stupid as fuck. Me personally, I'm not going to sit up here and take no motherfucking money from the community. Saying donate to all this kind of shit. And then come splurge on my motherfucking people. With some old bullshit ass Europeanized cars and shit. Spending all that money on that bullshit. And then I ain't got shit going for my motherfucking community. No, I'm going to put some shit up in my motherfucking community. And we go grow from there. Now, I ain't saying a motherfucker can't buy nice things. We all have that right to buy nice things. But when you 
getting that money the wrong fucking way. You take it from the people that's trying to get help and shit like that. Bro, you don't need to be doing that. That ain't that ain't how the fuck you do it. Of course the people gonna be fucking mad at you about that shit. Of course the people gonna have something to say to you about that shit. You know what I'm saying? All this, a whole bunch of new beefs coming up. People that been in the game for a minute, speaking, giving people the truth, stuff like that. But some people popping up out the woodworks with shit. Like, God damn, man. It's a no-win situation with you motherfuckers. We got to do better, people. King J. Rasun, self-development talk. Let's talk about it. Let's come up with some solutions. Let's get it together. Let's get it done. Let's make the real fucking movement. Fuck all this fucking talk shit. Let's get some fucking solutions in play. We already know what the fuck we need to do. We already heard about our history. We already know about the religions. We already know about all this shit. Let's put the shit together for solutions. Let's hear solutions and let's let's get the shit done. Talk to me about it. I'll talk to you about it. We put our feet on the motherfucking ground and put get the shit in action. And hell no, it don't ha only have to be here in my city. I'm from Detroit. It don't only have to be here. We a fucking chain or what the fuck ever. From city to fucking city, state to state. We could do it. We could do whatever the fuck we want to do, just like anybody else could do whatever the fuck they want to do. But if niggas quit being fucking scared to do shit and quit being scared to change their damn life and take some damn risks, that's go reward them very fucking well, then we could get this shit together. You ain't never going to be fucking free if you sitting up here trying to fucking always make it within a system that don't fucking belong to you. You didn't make the system, so what the fuck make you think you supposed to be making it out that shit? Yeah, they'll put a couple people up to put in front of your face so it could seem like they made it, made it, but they ain't fucking free. They souls is fucked up. They won't out deep down inside. It's going to take real people to do real things to make real changes. And I'm one of them, and I need some more people to be a part of it. No, I ain't got no full game plan down, Pat, but we going to work together to get every goddamn thing together. That's for damn show. Sure. And we need more people that's active just like that, with the mindset just like that. We go strictly be for the damn people. Do for ourselves and do for our people. Do for our family. Do for our youth. Protect our women and protect our youth and protect the elderly. That's what the fuck you men is out here for. Y'all ain't out here to be no Tommy Sotomayor type motherfuckers. Disrespecting the fucking women. Nigga, help bring them about the fucking situations they in. If you feel like they so goddamn bad... Teach some real good game, nigga. Quit downgrading, motherfuckers. That's our goddamn problem. Y'all niggas is fucking cowards out here, dog. Cut the bullshit out. We got a lot to fucking deal with, and y'all motherfuckers want to keep the bullshit going. I'll check y'all on my next video. Peace, one love.